hello guys here I am showing you a very very simple trick to calculate simple interest and compound interest okay okay first of all <coughs> for simple interest yeah first of all for simple interest mm, you people if people know the formula for simple interest, it is simple interest equals to P into P into N into R. It's whole divided by 100. You all know this, I think. Yeah. Yeah, here we have to know that how we get this formula first of all are you are you getting me how do you got this formula we have to know yeah here p is a principal everyone's know that okay n is number of years and r is rate of interest yeah rate of interest is given in percentage do all agree yeah so p is principal and n is number of years and r is rate of interest rate of interest is given in percentage so it is given like uh, r percent or r uh, per capita per annum okay it means we all know percentage means we will divide it with percent means by 100 if uh, suppose let's a given that uh, seven percent rate of interest is r is equal to seven percent it means nothing but it's nothing but seven divided by hundred yeah you all agree yeah it's nothing but seven divided by hundred so actually what is simple interest is uh, for an year is uh, simple inter uh, on principal we are getting uh, simple interest is for one year 7 by 100th of principal okay are you getting me if this uh, number of years is 1 let us assume that number of years is 1 principal is just uh, uh, take it as p is equal to 100 principal amount be 100 okay and number of years it's uh, t p t you mean t or uh, n it's just t yes t t is equal to one year okay it's given that p t r is equal to uh, so for one year a uh, seven percent rate of interest on principal it will be simple interest are you getting me it is nothing but according to the formula p p is uh, simple interest equals to p is 100 and here comes n or t it's one year and again into multiplying with 7 by 100 it's 7 percent na 7 percent so that is why we are uh, taking it as 7 by 100 so this is the way we will getting our formula ptr by 100 okay let us assume th this is only for one year so that is why here this uh, it's a 7 by 100 percent 7 by 100 part of 100 are you getting me it is nothing but 7 by 100 the part of 100 it's for one year okay for one year so 100 and 100 gets cancelled
hundred this hundred and this hundred gets cancelled and here nothing but it comes seven simple interest here is seven how we get this are you getting me for one year we are getting seven as simple interest total amount is you, you all know that amount is equal to simple interest plus principal it's nothing but it equals to principal here is simple interest here is seven plus hundred principal is hundred na one zero seven are you getting me this is very simple technique you have to use is for simple interest we ha we will calculate for calculating simple interest we will take that for calculating simple interest we are calculating simple interest on principal amount it's uh, for two years or uh, just take this t is equal to two years now okay two or three years whatever it may be just take t is equal to three years okay fine here we are taking for one year we get seven as simple interest for three years here we will take instead of one here instead of one we will take three it's nothing but because we are calculating for three years so here 100 and 100 gets cancelled 3 into 7 it comes 21 okay but when you are calculating simple interest just uh, assume that we are uh, mm, just uh, multiply your rate of interest into time given okay are you getting me multiple multiply rate of interest into time given we c here the rate of interest is 7 Here in the previous question, we assumed that rate of interest is equal to seven, and uh, time be three years. Okay, three years, and principal we take it as hundred. Okay. here just first of all when you are calc you, you, you gave you have given a problem like this on principle just first of all multiply this r and t okay it's r percent we all know that it's r percent even it's given per capital per annum also it will be in percentage only okay they will give only for one year it's given for one year okay for three years it will be what it will be for one year it's seven percent okay for three years it will be three into seven that is equal to twenty one percent okay did you get me it's nothing but twenty one percent twenty one percent where you uh, you want principal you want what simple interest on certain principle of 100 rupees okay principle is 100 here simple interest is nothing but 21% of principle 
okay it shows that 21 percent of 21 percent of principal is simple interest did you get me you can write formula like that 21 percent of simple interest it's nothing but 21 percent divided by 100 into simple interest here is 100 na hundred okay here hundred and hundred gets cancelled okay it's nothing but twenty one we will get answer C equal to twenty one did you got me here I will give you a formula for simple interest let me explain I will give you a formula, easy formula. Uh, calculating yeah. simple interest equals to time not plus this. Uh, sorry rate of interest into time time of principal okay <coughs> actually rate of interest is given in R is equal to R percentage it equals to R by 100 so substituting this value in we, we are substituting R value here ok substituting R value as equals to R S I equals to R control C R by hundred into T of P. Did you got me? it's nothing but what it will what it will come means it's nothing but equals to rt by 100 or rtp by rt by 100 of p or we can also write PTR by 100 actually <coughs> it's 100 we will percent 100 is pi by 100 is called as percent so it is nothing but TR's percent first of all when you are given a question just multiply T into R okay then you uh, if uh, t is t and r is r t r by 100 of we will multiply it with principal 
okay okay give me let me uh, give you a small question then uh, you will understand clearly to 15000 and r is rate of in interest is 5% sorry 5% and then t is given 3 years or it might be okay here what's according to the short method according to the technique what you have to do is multiply first of all multiply these two values first of all multiply r and t okay by multiplying r and t we will get what 5 into 3 it's 15 percent it's nothing but percent don't forget percentage here okay nothing but for 15 percent simple interest is here simple interest is nothing but 15 percent or 15,000 do you get me it's 15 percent of you wrote it now 15 percent 15 by 100 into 15,000 here these two zeros these two zeros and these two zeros will get cancelled you know 15 15s it's equals to 225 225 that's 0 did you got me it's very easy first of all when ask it for simple interest multiply r into t it's rate of interest into time given though what was the result 15 percent here 15 percent of principal is nothing but simple interest okay thank you guys i will later explain you the compound interest